Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and while making myself familiar with the new Inibuild Airbus A350 there is something that I really noticed. That up here on the hydraulic panel you can see that you only have two hydraulic systems, green and yellow. The blue hydraulic system has been eliminated on the A350. But why is that and why is the A350 even more redundant than previous aircraft even though it has one hydraulic system less? Well, let's dive right into it. So, you might have noticed on several parts of the aircraft that the A350 has a different hydraulic system. If you look at the ECAM page, you can see only two systems. If you look over here at the maintenance page, you can see only two systems. And that's something that initially wouldn't really make sense because, well, you would think that three systems are required as pretty much any airliner had them, right? Well. Not actually. What is required is to have a certain redundancy available to your controls. Now obviously hydraulic systems are pretty complicated systems. You can see all the different pumps over here, then you've got to interconnect the two engines as both engines are applying both systems. So they are pretty complex systems and they're also pretty heavy systems as well. Now this of course means driving up the cost. But how did Airbus manage to develop a system that not only gets rid of one hydraulic system, but actually provides even more redundancy than the previous type of architecture? Well, let's get into it. So, next to the green and the yellow hydraulic systems, which basically all power the same devices. So, you power the flight controls, you power the slats, the flaps, the landing gear. And even if one of the system goes out, you still have all of those functions available through the other system. Only landing gear retraction might take a little bit longer since that's what has the highest demand. You will also notice that the A350's hydraulic system doesn't run at 3000 PSI as your standard airliner hydraulic system would, but it runs at 5000 PSI. So over time, components got better, got more rigid. So the airline or the aircraft manufacturers could increase the pressure in the systems and therefore making them more effective. But that's just a bit of general information here. That's not actually related to the question how it gets more redundant then. So in order to build an airliner that is certifiable with only two hydraulic systems, Airbus of course had to provide a third way of controlling the flight controls which is required by law and you will probably be searching for that third way for quite a bit on the panel as you are not really going to find it not up here not down here in the ecam and not over here on the maintenance screen that's because the third option actually consists of many many very small hydraulic systems themselves so you don't just have two but you have many hydraulic systems on the aircraft. The keyword here is electro hydrostatic actuators and electro backup hydraulic actuators. Now what are those? Electrical hydrostatic actuators are powered by one electric system and basically are small self-contained hydraulic systems. So that's an actuator that has its own hydraulic reservoir and that can pressurize its own hydraulic reservoir electrically. And you have those installed on all of those flight controls. And therefore, imagine you're losing a hydraulic system. So imagine that the green reservoir gets pierced and loses all its fluid. Then the entire system is gone. But now think about it. If you've got separate dedicated devices on each of those servos then you may lose hydraulic fluid on one of those that is not going to affect any of the others because they're all independent from another so that's a very clever way of minimizing the hydraulic or the hydraulic lines and all those large hydraulic systems in the aircraft while fitting smaller ones where they are needed it provides more redundancy since you have more of those systems and at the same time it saves weight and therefore cost. A very clever system. Now, 
There is not only electrohydrostatic actuators EHAs fitted to the aircraft which are powered by one electric system but there is also electrical backup hydraulic actuators fitted which may be powered by one electric or one hydraulic system. Now electrical, electrical backup hydraulic actuators are a combination of a conventional actuator and an EHA. When hydraulic power is available the electrical backup hydraulic actuator behaves like a conventional actuator. So. The green and the yellow system are powering that EBHA and then it behaves like a conventional system but when the hydraulic systems go out, so when the green or the yellow systems go out, those EBHAs have their own little reservoir and they can operate independent of one another. So that's a really really cool thing. When they, the EBHA operates only in electric mode, it is completely isolated from the rest of the aircraft's hydraulic system and acts as an independent self-contained device. So that way, if you lose both hydraulic systems, you still have the EHAs available to control the aircraft, providing a lot more redundancy and in order for the A350 to enter a situation such as the DHL A300 that got shot over Baghdad where it lost all hydraulics and then had to control the aircraft using the engine thrust only, that's not going to happen to you in the A350 because it has so many independent small hydraulic systems located near all those control surfaces that the aircraft really has a much higher degree of redundancy than your old conventional Airbuses. Well, and that's the reason why you only have two hydraulic systems on the Airbus A350. Hope you found this one interesting. Be sure to leave your feedback about what you think about these systems in the comment underneath the video. I'm really looking forward to it. As always, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and if you really love what I'm doing on this channel, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. Thank you for watching and see you all again on the next one.